Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hoffman with another tutorial for Tutorial Brothers. And as has become kind of my catchphrase, I apologize for the uh, lateness in coming of this tutorial. However, this was a request, and I figured I might as well do it now. Um, so what I'll be covering today is how to create blinking lights in Blender. Um, it's really not too hard, so really this is going to be more of a tip, not a tutorial. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete the default cube by hitting delete and enter. Uh, shift A, we're going to, well, you know, we already have one. I'm going to right click on that to select it, and we're going to hit Alt G to uh, set it to its default position. G, Z up about five. Hit enter. Uh, let's see here. All right, Shift A, we're going to add a mesh plane. We're going to scale it up to about uh, 10 by hitting S and then typing 10. Um, all right, sweet. So now if we hit F12, you can see we've got kind of your uh, standard boring plane here. So we're going to hit escape twice. Now I'm going to come over here and find our uh, render settings, world settings. I'm going to set this color to black just so we can see our uh, plane a little better. And I'm going to change this to textured so we can see what we'll be looking at. Let's drag this up. GZ a little bit more. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go into our light settings here. Make it a spot. How's that? Okay, Alt R to uh, reset its rotation. Scale it down. GZ. Hit F12, see what this looks like. Okay, good. So now we have just a spotlight. I think I might scale it down actually. I'm just hitting S and moving the mouse in and hitting F12 to render and escape to uh, get out of it. Let's scale it down a little bit more. G along with Z. Hit F12. Just so we can kind of see the full spotlight, really. And a little bit more. Scale G, Z. Because really, I'll be showing you how to do this. And then maybe we'll change the color of this uh, lantern. Hmm. We'll make it a blue light. We'll hit F12 again. Now you can see we have this blue spotlight -y thingy. Just this blue speck in the middle of a black blackness. Really epic black, actually, quite honestly. All right, so now that we have this, we are going to come down here, make sure our uh, keyframes at zero, or rather one. We're going to come here and set our energy to zero. And while our mouse cursor is over this, we're going to hit I. And uh, hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. While our mouse is over this, we're make sure we're in Blender. While our mouse is scrolled over this, we're gonna hit I, and that'll set a keyframe. We'll move forwards, oh, about 10 frames. We're gonna come here, bring our energy all the way up, and I'm just gonna set it to one actually. And we'll go ahead and hit I again. And uh, I'm sorry about that. Hit I again. So now, if you uh, hit Alt, go all the way back and hit Alt A, nothing will happen. Hold on. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop that again. And we'll go ahead and move up 10 more. Set our energy all the way back to zero. Hit I. Bring it up 10. Bring our energy back up to one. And while we're scrolled over, we'll hit I. And now, if I go ahead and bring this up 40 more, bring it back down to zero, hit I, and set that as end frame by hitting Control E while our mouse is still in the... Uh, Hold on, am I not doing it right? Whatever, okay. Are you going to be like that? Okay, I'm just going to have to hit E. My bad. Well, um, our mouse is over here. We're going to go ahead and hit Control F12 and let it render. Because, well, here, you know what? This will be easier. I'll hit Escape twice. What we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll change it to solid again. And just watch right here watch what happens as I hit alt a you can see the uh, energy does change so what will happen is um, that light will blink as you can see the energy is changing from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 and it's a bit laggy I suppose but uh, you know what that's alright and this is the same for all of these if you switch it it will keep the uh, keyframes and you can also change or set keyframes for the colors too. So, well, actually, 
I don't want to get into that yet. We'll keep it a spotlight. I don't want to get into that yet. That we'll cover we'll cover more advanced stuff later. But for basic stuff, I think you guys get a basic understanding of that. Uh leave a comment down below if you want another tutorial, if you have another idea for a request. Um we do requests, obviously. So if you do have a request, please let us know. Um and yeah, so uh send us a message, give us a comment. Thumbs up's always appreciated, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching so much. God bless.